the respect for fundamental rights of every person working for the parliament and of every European citizens. So without further ado, I would like my colleague, Christina Anderson, to have the opening. Yes, hello. Uh, first of all, thank you very much for all of you that went to great lengths to express your support to us in an overwhelmingly huge amount of emails. Thank you so much. We're doing this for you. All through Europe, governments have gone to great lengths to get people vaccinated. We were promised the vaccinations will be a game changer and it will restore our freedom. Turns out none of that was true. It does not render you immune. You can still contract the virus and you can still be infectious. The only thing this vaccine did for sure was to spill billions and billions of dollars in the pockets of pharmaceutical companies. I voted against the digital green certificate back in April. Unfortunately, it was adopted nonetheless. And this just goes to show there is only a minority of MEPs who truly stand for European values. The majority of MEPs, for whatever reasons unbeknown to me, obviously support oppression of the people while claiming shamelessly to do it for the people's own good. But it is not the goal that renders a system oppressive. It is always the methods by which the goal is pursued. Whenever a government claims to have the people's interest at heart, you need to think again. In the entire history of mankind, there has never been a political elite sincerely concerned about the well-being of regular people. What makes any of us think that it is different now? If the Age of Enlightenment has brought forth anything, then certainly this. Never take anything any government tells you at face value. Always question everything any government does or does not do. Always look for ulterior motives and always ask, cui bono, who benefits? Whenever a political elite pushes an agenda this hard and resorts to extortion and manipulation to get their way, you can almost always be sure your benefit is definitely not what they had at heart. As far as I'm concerned, I will not be vaccinated with anything that has not been properly vetted and tested and has shown no sound scientific evidence that the benefits outweigh the disease itself and possible long-term side effects, which to this day we don't know anything about. I will not be reduced to a mere guinea pig by getting vaccinated with an experimental drug. And I will most assuredly not get vaccinated because my government tells me to and promises in return I will be granted freedom. Let's be clear about one thing. No one grants me freedom, for I am a free person. So I dare the European Commission and the German government Throw me in jail, lock me up and throw away the key for all I care. But you will never be able to coerce me into being vaccinated if I, the free citizen that I am, choose not to be vaccinated. Lastly, I would like you to think about this one. The compulsory use of the digital green certificate undermines everything that Europeans stand for. It violates constitutionally guaranteed fundamental rights and it constitutes the first step towards the insufferable Chinese social credit system. I will never stand for this. I will never put up with this. Thank you. You know, we were elected by the people. That's what the treaty says. But we should not forget that we are elected here for the people. We should have the best interests of people in mind, because that is the reason why they elected us here in the European Parliament. All these leaders of the European Parliament, they like to praise themselves every time when they go in a press conference to say that this is the most democratic institution of the European Union. The question to them is, is really so? Have you told these people in the parliament 
when you decided to strip their fundamental rights, why you have done it? You see, we have all these treaties, as my colleague said, that no medical treatment should be imposed on you unless you decide about it freely and under informed consent. Now, clearly what they do right now to condition the access in the parliament to have this green certificate is violating this freedom of people to choose what do they want to be back vaccinated with or tested with. But there's the other aspect. And the question that I address not only to you in the parliament, but to every European citizen to ask your own government, were you properly informed about what is going on? Because we had a lot of debates at the beginning of this year in the parliament where we demanded full access to the contracts signed between these companies that produce the vaccines and the European Union. And I quote from an article in Euroactive who says the following in an article from January 22nd, 2021, that says the following. The contract signed between pharmaceutical company and the European Commission in November of 2020 was made available to MAPS on Tuesday in a redacted format after the company agreed to open the contract up to scrutiny. Say what? Say what? So you're imposing a medical product on the European citizens without them knowing what's in these contracts? Not only them knowing, but us, we don't know. So after a lot of pressure in the parliament, as the article says, these contracts were disclosed to us and to the public. And I want to show you some of those pages. And you tell me if this is okay for the European citizens to be exposed to this situation where they cannot come to work, they cannot enter a store, they cannot go with their kids to schools, where they cannot freely move from one country to another, unless in one situation is vaccinated with one of these products. So these are the contracts that were disclosed by the commission with the approval of the company. This is unheard of. And I will just show you the pages. These are the pages. You see? They call this transparency these days. So this is the fundamental principle, right? Of democracy. I'm asking you guys, is this transparency? Do you see anything? Because we don't. European citizens' money have been given by Ursula von der Leyen to these companies. What happened with those money? What are they? Why are they open with the people and fully transparent? So we all know. What is going on? The difference between tyranny and democracy is very simple. When the government knows everything about you, that's tyranny. I know how it is to live in tyranny. When you know everything about your government, that's democracy.